de queísmo and queísmo. De queísmo. The incorrect use of de que instead of just que to introduce a subordinate clause. Queísmo. The incorrect use of que instead of de que to introduce a subordinate clause. De queísmo and queísmo are typical mistakes made by native Spanish speakers. An example of a verb used incorrectly with de queísmo is the verb decir. Example, incorrect. El maestro nos dijo de que mañana sería la prueba. The teacher told us that tomorrow would be the test. Correct. El maestro nos dijo que mañana sería la prueba. The teacher told us that tomorrow would be the test. Other examples of common verbs where people use de que erroneously are creer, pensar, temer, ver, oír, escuchar, and sentir. An example of a construction verb plus adjective used incorrectly with queismo is estar seguro. Example, incorrect. Estoy seguro que él traerá lo que necesitas. I'm sure he will bring what you need. Correct. Estoy seguro de que él traerá lo que necesitas. I'm sure he will bring what you need. Other examples of phrases where people often use que erroneously instead of de que are es hora que, no me di cuenta que, querer convencer que, antes que, and después que. Native Spanish speakers have an easy way to know whether they should use de que or just que. It's by using the word eso, that is that. Examples. A. El maestro nos dijo eso. Or, el maestro nos dijo de eso. Immediately, native speakers notice that the correct way is el maestro nos dijo eso. So, we should say el maestro nos dijo que mañana sería la prueba. B. Estoy seguro de eso. Or, estoy seguro eso. Instantly, native speakers notice that the correct way is estoy seguro de eso. So, we should say, estoy seguro de que él traerá lo que necesitas. Now, I want to show you a group of interesting verbs. If these verbs are used as pronominal verbs, verbs ending in se in the infinitive, they introduce a subordinate clause with de que. If they are not used as pronominal verbs, they introduce a subordinate clause with que. In this case, what is the subject in the previous case with a pronominal verb is the direct object here. Some of these verbs are alegrar, alegrarse, asustar, asustarse, avergonzar, avergonzarse, cansar, cansarse, enamorar, enamorarse, entristecer, entristecerse, informar, informarse, preocupar, preocuparse, en sorprender, sorprenderse. Examples. 1A. Ellos se sorprendieron de que todo fuera tan fácil. They were surprised that everything was so easy. 1B. A ellos los sorprendió 
que todo fuera tan fácil. They were surprised that everything was so easy. Actually, it made them surprised that everything were so easy. 2A. Me alegro de que hayas llegado. I'm glad you have arrived. To be, me alegra que hayas llegado. I'm glad you have arrived. Actually, it makes me glad that you have arrived. Okay, that's all for now, folks. <laughs>